Small firms have lost £785 million to cyber criminals, according to a new report from the Federation of Small Businesses. The FSB said, on average, its members lost £4,000 each to online crime. This can have a devastating effect on some businesses, particularly in the current economic turmoil. Crime against business and cyber crime fraud can have an impact on our employees, can have an impact on the business itself, so it could mean the business goes out of business, uh, and it has a, an effect inevitably on local communities, because that's where all small businesses are actually based. They are very much a heart of our local communities. And then, of course, the, the impact on the wider economy. The FSB's report called on the government to launch a national awareness campaign for its Action Fraud Service, a police website where businesses can report internet fraud. 31% of FSB members also said they want a more effective police response to fraud. However, the government is slashing billions from its policing budget in the austerity drive to save cash. One top cop has warned that hundreds of specialist internet crime officers are at risk of losing their jobs. James Brokenshire, Home Office Minister for Security insisted the government is taking the right steps to tackle cybercrime. Well, we've committed £63 million as part of the National Cyber Security Programme to focus on specialist resources and capabilities to be able to respond to the online threats and challenges. Part of that is the building up of resource within the Police Centrally Crime Unit and also from the Soccer Serious Organised Crime Agency Cyber Unit. Now we're bringing them together within the National Cyber Crime Unit to really up our game further. So there is a real focus on policing, on really tackling some of these organised crime groups that are preying on business, they're preying on us also as individuals. That's something we do take very seriously and why the funding as part of our National Cyber Security Programme has been committed and where our focus lies. The FSB's Mike Cherry said business must be told what the police can and can't do to tackle online fraud, so small firms know where they stand against cyber criminals. We all know that the public sector are going through massive cuts and the police forces are no different to this, but I think they really do need to prioritise, uh, for one, uh, that they're, what they're actually able to offer in support is maintained uh, as best as it possibly can, but secondly, alongside that, is that they actually tell us what they are able to do, what they are not able to do, so that we can try and make sure that those gaps in what we may have expected um, but can't realistically now have delivered can be um, uh, filled so that small businesses are as protected as they can be going forward.